Welcome everyone. Now today's topic is about creating an ASP.NET 8 professional website using the latest Orchard Core content management system. All right. So if you have earlier seen my uh, Orchard Core series on the uh, out of support ASP.NET Core 3.1, um, I am referring to one of the videos here, which I'll show you. It is this one. So this was way back four years back and it is still working very well for me. But I have received a comment that, you know, there's a lot has been changed in the ASP.NET 8 version with Orchard Core and um, startup file has now become just there is one program file which actually combines startup and program file both and there's some changes in the recipe. Now, for those first timers who has never come across what is Orchard Core. Let me give you a brief um, introduction. So Orchard Core is an open source modular multi-tenant application framework and content management system for ASP.NET Core. It's a redevelopment of Orchard CMS on ASP.NET Core. Having said that, you can see that this video that I'm going to make and present to you is just an upgrade or updated version of my previous video on the same subject but made on the out of support ASP.NET Core 3.1 with a then version which I am not sure what version was prevalent at that time. However, keep in mind because of the backward compatible there once I create the website please hang on till the end because it is very important to go through this uh, the entire process from scratch you will find that uh, so far as the appearance of the website is concerned, there is not much that is changed. However, this new version of Orchard Core content management system is packed with lots of AI tools and you know, GraphQL and Elasticsearch and many other facilities, which I hope to discuss in one of the upcoming videos later. So having said that, let's switch over to Visual Studio and start doing our work. So on to my Visual Studio 2022, click on create a new project and I need an ASP.NET Core empty solution for this. Okay. So there we are. I've just searched for ASP term and this is the right template for me because I want to build it from scratch and I will be using the updated NuGet package. Okay. From the NuGet package manager. So we will go for uh, highlighting this and click on next and I will have to give it a name. So let us give it a name something like orchardcode.cms and the location is already there and please be aware that you know you don't check this um, checkbox place solution and project in the same directory. That is because if you are going to develop it, scale it, then you'd find that there will be lots of projects under one solution. So the solution should be at the topmost level, at the root level. And if you check this, then it will be in the same directory. It should have run into problems later on. All right. So let's click on to next. and create. So my orchard code.cms empty project is created. So now all I will do is right click and manage NuGet packages. Install is none. So I will browse for. So now on to NuGet package manager. I will browse for this particular package orchard core dot application dot cms dot targets all right so you can see that there is a latest table version 2.202 and let's install this it will take a wee while initially you can see the package is still installing the first time when i tried it took me a couple of minutes in fact uh, but hang tight you'll be there i'll come back again once the Package manager has installed it. 
All right, so I accept these license ag agreements and it's still installing. Okay, so let's see. Oh, it's already installed orchard code.application.cms.targets. Now you can quickly check by double clicking the project file where you can find the package reference includes this and the version is 2.0.2 .2, and this is .NET 8, .NET 8.0 target framework. Right, so actually that's all, but I need to run the application and show you what you can do. Let's click on this HTTPS which is here, all right, so it is building. Here you can see that there is a hello world appears. Now, this will all change because I am going to edit my program file, which is also which contains the startup from the, if you look at the earlier version. So you, you used to have program.cs and startup.cs, which has all been combined to one file programs.cs. So this hello world initially is coming from app.mapgate hello world. Okay. So I will change all that and I will come back after editing the program file. So this is the changed program file. Now what we have changed is I have uh, added this line builder.services.add orchard CMS okay to the service collection i service collection and also app dot use orchard code this is the middleware if you know what is the middleware um, it enables multi tenant request supporting support for the current path and uh, use orchard code okay now that's now the edited program file so earlier version if you look into the code you will that there was a separate startup file and a separate program file now that has all combined been combined into one version okay now so if you click on this icon again green arrow so after Waiting for a while, my setup has come. It is re rendered. The now I have to do the setup, and I have got some pre-filled Kaushik Orchard Core site, which I will go for it, and I will keep the database in to use as the default SQL light. You have the choice of selecting any of these other three. So I'll keep it at SQL light, and here recipe I can choose agency or blog. But I will not keep it on the software as a service because if I let it go as it is with uh, the if the website is uh, you know themed or recipe at software as a service, then you cannot see any um, template because it just provides a default SAAS features like managing multiple websites. So it will not come up with a beautiful looking professional template so i will keep it at agency and super user my name this is my super user name and password just a verification they are the same email is this and finish setup click on finish setup it will take a v while again before setting it up all right so it has come up with a very professional looking agency theme kashik orchard core site tell me more it will take you to this services section with e-commerce responsive designs security can change all that Okay, and the portfolio services about team contact. So this is the recipe that has everything for you to <coughs> turn it into a beautiful responsive design or a professional website. And you've got your X, this Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn handle, and you can have this contact us, send me a message form. Click on here. All right, so I will leave it at that. But before leaving, I'll just show you another thing is how does the 
admin module look like you know just you are to admin and login with your details that you have created when you have set it up so welcome to orchid core and this is the auto light themes dark theme again light theme and you have got this content content items media library menus content definition and then themes these are all the themes this is our current theme agency theme this is the current theme then you can make uh, this one as well as this or any of these current okay and you've got this configuration so all of these menus menu bars or sub menus they are you know filled with the knowledge that you would like to delve into in upcoming lectures at least some part of it all right thank you for attending this session